Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I've been away uh, to Colombia and I'm back in the States. So as you know, my, my channel is about personal finance, financial planning and uh, wealth management. So what we have today is I'm, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to open up a bank account, how to close a bank account online and also different banking uh accounts that you can set up for a online business and so if any of those intrigue you in regards to uh just financial planning uh wealth management and basically how to manage your wealth then my channel and my videos is the way to go so if any of those type of things intrigue you then make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and this video make sure you watch the video all the way through and here we go. Starting out, uh, how I'm going to break it down is that I know many of, of my viewers, they already know how to open up a bank account. But there's uh, certain individuals, that pro probably if you, are, uh, if you are 15 years old to maybe 20 years old, you maybe don't even know how to open up a bank account. You probably don't know the difference between a checking account or, or a savings account. You may not even know the different type of banks that you can use. I'm going to be talking about all of that today. The different type of banking, bankings you, you can use. I'm going to uh, give you guys options of different type of banks that you probably have heard of and banks you probably not have heard of. I'm also going to be talking about credit unions and also going to be talking about uh, how to close a bank. So if, because I know a lot of people know how to open up a bank, but a lot of people don't know how to close a bank. Here we go. So how do you uh, open up a banking account if you never uh, have done done it before? So you can do you can open up a bank in multiple ways. One, you, you can go to the, to the actual institution and you can walk in and a lovely person at the bank, uh, rather, let's say you, you're going to uh, JP Morgan or you're going to Bank of America. You walk in. And he's like, hey, I, just, I would like to open up a bank. That's if you wanted to do it face to face. But a lot of people, they, they are afraid to go face to face because a lot of times some people, they don't have credit. They don't want people to know uh, what what they got going on in the background. And so uh, what do you need, need to open up a bank account? So you need three things. So you need a valid government uh, photo ID, which uh, if you have a driver's license, valid driver's license, state ID, it's ideal, or a passport if, if you're that young and you uh, want to open up. And then also other basic information is, is as make sure just have your your, your, uh, your birth date and your social security number. Need, you need to know your, your, your social security number uh, or your TIN. TIN is for individuals who want to open up an account, checking account or savings account for a particular business. It's like TIN is like the EIN for a particular business. And then also just keep in mind, you also going to need an initial deposit depending on the banking institution, uh, depending on the, the amount of money for the initial deposit. I, when I did my business, when I opened up my business for my current uh, business, which is the Millennial Wealth and Lifestyle LLC that falls under my YouTube channel, I had to deposit $100 for my business account that I opened up also with my business credit card. Well, for my Chase, when I opened up uh, Chase, I had to do $25. So, so normal business accounts, uh, like for, for a check and a savings, like with, with Wells Fargo or, or with Chase, all you really do is just bring your your, uh, your full ID, know your social security number. If you don't, just make sure you speak to your parents and write it down. Uh, or or just, if you more responsible just ha just have your social security card on you and make sure just keep it safe and then also just make sure you have the initial deposit most likely sometimes the initial deposit is like $25 which is not bad for a uh, banking institution like JP JP Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo and also if you if you're not at, at the legal age of 18 yet you will need a, a co-owner so you ask a parent or a legal guardian to be able to th sign those documents uh, with the bank if you are 18 and older, you can go about this process uh, yourself. Have your, your, your driver's license or, or state ID or passport. Have the, the, the fee, which, which will be about $25 for your, for your department, the initial depart, deposit, and just know your social security number so that when you have to fill out the application, it's going to ask you your date of, birth, date of birth 
and it's going to ask you, you know, your social security number. Uh, and then also just just know that the difference between uh, the, the check-in and, and a savings. So typically individuals use the check-in, uh, it's more liquid. You use your checking to uh, pay for bills, you write, you write checks, uh, it, it comes with a debit card. And uh, usually with, with the checking, uh, it's, it's very liquid. I, I, for me, I use my, my checking to pay bills, I use my business checking to also pay bills. I just, I just came from uh, Panama. And so all of everything's linked to my, my checking, whether it be paying bills, me investing into the stock market. And when I receive certain dividends, if, if I don't want to automatic uh, reinvest some of the dividends, I'll have it flow back into my checking account. And then also just keep in mind for savings, for a savings account, uh, I don't think uh, it come, you have to do a initial deposit for a savings. Uh, you have to ask the, the initial person who you speak to, but usually people use the savings account for like an emergency fund. We speak to, speak to any financial advisor or financial planner. They always say have at least six months of a emergency fund or at least three months just to, just to cushion, just in case anything happens uh, and you put, put away for a rainy day or some, sometimes people will open up a money market uh, account and have that receiving maybe 2%, 3% and putting money into that for the money market account for a, a decent interest rate. And then people use the savings account just to, just to save, maybe to save up to buy a house save up to buy a large purchase like 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 a car or a house and uh then also just just keep in mind that with uh, certain uh accounts that it, it may come with a fee just keep that in mind it may come with a fee uh, so in understanding uh so in understanding personal uh financial planning or personal fine uh personal finance understanding your personal finances and wanting to choose uh, the checking account or the savings account of your choice, then you have to understand uh, the the, bank, the banking institutions that you want to go with. And so I have a couple bank institutions that uh, you may be familiar with or you may not be familiar with. So if you want to open up a, uh, a banking account uh, online uh, via uh, whether a checking or savings, you have options of using Bank of America, BOA, I use Bank of America for my business account. Bank of America is, is great in terms of sm small business. Uh, you want you want a small business on. You want to uh, open up a small business account for uh, regarding uh, a checking or, or savings uh, for your, your new business. I I personally vouch for Bank of America. Well, personally, because I have Bank of America BOA. If uh, if you want an, another option, uh, you have J J P Morgan Chase. This is also a, a good option to choose if you want to go down the route of a, a trusted bank that has a long history uh, for uh, checking or, or savings. J P Morgan Chase. Uh, I use this for in regards to my personal uh, checking. I use uh, Bank of America for my my business account. I use Chase because no matter if I want to go to uh, stay here in Houston, or if I want to go to Wisconsin, back home in Wisconsin to visit friends or on the West Coast, I know that there's going to be a J.P. Morgan Chase uh, ATM station to use my debit card to get money out. Because typically, if you go to any other bank, it's going to or a time machine ATM at a, at a gas station, it's going to charge you uh, astronomical fees. And then the, the last we go through, you can open up a checking account online via Capital One. Or Wells Fargo, or Wells Fargo, uh, private uh, well uh, management, or uh, Wells Fargo management assets team. Uh, so they basically you you can open up your own personal uh, checking and savings account with Wells Fargo, or you can speak with them about their investment investing and, and wealth management team. Regards, uh, Wells Fargo, I don't have that. And so here I spoke to you about the traditional bank institutions that you can open up. Uh, a banking or a savings account with uh, that has been around since you know millenniums, right? Uh, now I want to talk to you guys about unconventional, unconventional banking methods that's uh, not so traditional, uh, and that is uh, Chime. And so Chime is you you can, you can open up an, uh, an account with uh, no cost, no late fees, no minimum balance, and so 
for me being a part of HR, I've dealt a, a lot of my employees that have Chime accounts and they would just give me the, the direct deposits. And, and, and then unlike, you know, somebody had a, a Chase direct deposit or a Wells Fargo direct deposit, I, I would definitely just take their Chime direct deposit I'll put in and then whenever they get paid weekly or bi-weekly, depending on the, the job. Uh, and from what I understand, a lot of times, yeah, they uh, they typically they get they get their money uh, two days earlier, and then uh, there there's also different ATMs, and then there's uh, you have a overdraft fee. So I've, I've heard nothing but great things about, about Chime, and also I heard that with Chime, a lot of individuals tend to receive their money uh, early, and so that's that's a positive. So if you get paid on Friday, I've heard of people getting getting their money on on Wednesday. So next we're going to talk about, uh, so you, you have uh, you have savings accounts and you have checking accounts with the, the bank institutions of J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, right? But then you can also go down to the credit union, credit union route. What, uh, why credit unions? Credit unions, I, I, I found the secret, it's the best to go, go if, if you have, uh, you're starting out uh, with your credit, if you want to buy a house if you want to buy a big purchase like like a car new or used like fifteen thousand dollars all of my automobiles when i went through a credit union because uh become a member open open up an account uh whether it's a checking or a savings and then you become a member of whatever said credit union uh that you choose and then whenever it's time to buy a house or a car go through the credit union and the credit union will actually give you uh will give you favorable interest rates. And so right here, I did a research on the seven best credit unions for 2023. Uh, the seven best credit unions for 2023 as a per net, uh, nerd wallet is uh, Alliance Credit Union, Consumers Credit Union, uh, Connexus Credit Union. Uh, and I, I've actually heard of Alliant Credit Union. Uh, I'm, I'm based out of Houston, Texas, so I, I use uh, members credit union, but here in, in Houston and Texas, there's many credit unions that you can, you can think of, but just, it doesn't matter the credit union. Credit unions are, are very uh, credible. <laughs> I know the name, but it helps on your journey for, for your uh, personal finance and your per, per personal finance management, understanding, managing your, your finances. And that's all part of understanding insurance, under, understanding, uh, insurance on your car or insurance on your business and uh, it also insurance on your house because i own a house and all that flow flows through the flows through your credit union because in understanding all of that you need to understand interest rates and you you want the most favorable interest rates for your particular business particular car insurance uh car etc so when you want to buy a car you need an effective uh, interest rate, which falls on your credit, but you also want to to deal with a uh, credit union to, to buy that uh, uh, $250,000 house or $17,000 car payment, right? Or a car, car, not, you don't want a, uh, you, you don't want a $17,000 car payment, but un understanding that uh, credit unions give you a way, a way more favorable interest rate compared to the big banks like Chase or Wells Fargo. Uh, I, I still utilize those in regards to my checking account, but I also open up a credit union just in case if I want to make a big purchase, I'm going to go with a credit union uh, for a house or for a car. But for my everyday needs, I use, to me, I use JP Morgan Chase. And then for my business, I use a Bank of America. So it just all depends on your, your needs. And then right here, uh, you know, I, I had to... Uh, give you guys uh, the best online business checking accounts because I, I have a business. I'm pretty sure you have a bit, you have a business. And so, uh, you know, and when you have a business, there's a lot of things you have to th think about uh, in regards to uh, if you have a car, business car insurance, business insurance, and then also uh, business banking. So you're banking for your business in regards to uh, your checking and, and your savings so that it, it can, uh, so you, that you don't commingle your funds, because by the time the end of the year, you want to basically have your funds that you pay for in regards to your everyday in one checking account, and then everything for your business you want in a, in a, in a business check account, business savings, so that when it comes time with the IRS, they can see that okay, 
your your business is legit, it has an account, and then it has you, it can account for all of the fees and, and everything that you pay for. If you have everything under one uh, account, I want check an account. It can be really messy and be hard to prove to the IRS that this is a, a valid business. And so, it's, according to this search, it says that these are the top business checking accounts. So I would say uh, uh, take a look at these. Uh, Leli uh, is, is probably the most popular choice for any size LLC. Uh, Blue Vine, uh, you can earn two percent APY on uh, balances two hundred fifty thousand or more and file. I, I've actually heard of uh, uh, Lily. I said Leli, Lily. Um, and so uh, just write it down. To, Take this information. You never know. Uh, you may not have a business right now, but at the same time, you may want to create a, a business down the line. If you figure out how to uh, a, be, a, a better way to make money online, it's it's, it's the future uh, with AI and whatnot. And so, uh, look at look into these blue blue vine and 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 Lily in, in regards to a business checking account, so you can keep your funds away from your regular checking account, so you don't commingle your funds. For me, as I spoke to early in the beginning of the video, I utilize Bank of America for my particular uh, business needs. And I, I love it. Uh, I opened up my, my Bank of America uh, checking account and savings account uh, about a month ago. And I just came from Columbia and I, I used my uh, my business credit card. And then I also put some money into my business checking account. And from Bank of America, I just pay my um, all my bills and I pay all of my checking, uh, I'm gonna pay all everything on, on my business credit card through my uh, Bank of America account, uh, guard to everything according to my business, so that at the end of the year with IRS, a is right there. You know, write it off, write it off. It's right there. It's legit. And then lastly, lastly, I'm gonna talk to you guys about. I talked to you guys about how to open up a uh, a banking account. Uh, I talked to you guys about the different institutions that you can choose from. Traditional and, and non-traditional. Also, talk to you guys about uh, business uh, bank accounts for, for, for checking. Lastly, it's in the cycle. You guys gotta know how to close the bank banking account. And so, uh, when you close a bank account, just just know that you gotta make sure that you settle all unpaid balances. That's that's the key. The key is that if you have any unpaid balance, you have to settle. If you have any in any uh, error or anything. Uh, against the actual account, you have you have to settle settle it, the things first, then you you could be able to, to close it. A lot of times people uh, try to close the account where they may have some type of fraud or they may have some type of them char charging things on the credit card or any negative actions on, on their accounts and then they try to close it. It's hard. So rectify all, any issues first, then you you could be able to. Uh, any unpaid balances or any, any issues, rectify that first, and then you can be able to counsel, counsel close the bank account. Two, you, uh, you make sure that when you move on to open up your new checking or savings account and through your employer, uh, just update your direct deposit uh, through that particular payroll system at, at your job with your new pay payroll, uh, with your new checking account, with your new account information and new routing information, they will be able to, to give you that. And then uh, make sure that you, uh, if you have any other uh, cash or any other uh, like pending transactions, make sure that all of that is done first before you close. Because you know, let's say, for example, if you have uh, bills, if you have bills that's uh, automatically recurring on a monthly basis, and if you haven't uh, fully uh, went into the, the different websites like at and where if that's your, your bill or what your water bill or not, and you having to pay monthly, if you change and you close it automatically all of a sudden and you haven't gone through everything that you need then it can cause uh, havoc and in, 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 in terms to uh, making sure that your bills is paid making sure that it's, it's not going to default in, into collections uh and then uh that's it and then uh, but also also know that um when you go about and, and closing the bank account uh it will take probably a, a couple days and just know that once you already close it you would not be able to go back and uh, utilize that bank account again. You, if you wanted to, like, for example, if you got a Bank of America checking account and you make sure there's no un, unpaid balance, uh, no faults, no no red claims, and then you and you cancel it and it takes a couple of days, you, you, you can go in, you can, you can log in, 
and you, you, you press uh, a section, you press, you, you can uh, close your account or you, you can go into the particular branch and speak to somebody and, and they, they will help you close it or you can call on the phone. But, when, but once you close it, if you ever want to go back like a week later, uh, three months down the line, then you will have to open up a new account. And remember, to open up a new account is you have to have your driver's license or state license, your social security information, your date of birth information, and the, the initial offering and the initial deposit. So just just, just know that uh, if you plan on closing an account, just make sure that you don't intend on using that account any, you know, anytime soon and make sure that the other uh the other account, whether it's with uh, JP Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo or Chime, that that's up and active before you go and, and counseling your uh, your account or your, your the, the closing of the account of the particular bank. And so you can utilize when you close in an account, you can actually you can do it in, uh, through face to face or you can actually do it online. And now in 2023, everything has become a lot more easier to uh basically do it online if you need to and when you do it online like when i order my credit cards or order a new credit card or open up an, an account when i do it and open up a new money market account i just open it up online and really just, it takes maybe 24 hours or, or maybe 48 hours and then boom it's very trustworthy so hopefully this uh information was was uh informative of how to open up a bank account the different options that you have in terms of traditional banking and non-traditional banking, and most importantly, uh, understanding the different banks that you, uh, or banks you can use or methods you can use for open up a business bank account because I'm a business individual with my LLC. And ultimately, hopefully you learn how to close a, a bank account online. And by me going through everything, you learn that, I mean, it's three, three easy steps. Settle the unpaid balances, update your direct deposit information, and then make sure that you transfer all the cash and then make sure that uh, there's no left pending uh, pending bills is going to hit that account so that uh, you don't have any missed bills. But once you do that, it's real easy and they close the account. So hopefully you guys enjoy this content. Hopefully you guys learn uh, uh, how to open up an account, how to close a bank account, and hopefully you guys learn uh, just different methods of banking that you probably haven't heard of. So. All right. You have a good day.